Electricity Electricity is a form of energy needed to make appliances work. We use electricity for many purposes to make our tasks easier. Electricity makes it possible to light our home, roads, offices, markets and factories even after sunset. It is used in fan and fridge for cooling, stereo and television for entertainment, in heater and hair dryers for heating and so on for various other purposes. Without electricity, our lives would be darker, duller and colder. Electric cell. When you enter in a dark room, you use a torch for light. Do you know that electricity to the bulb in a torch is provided by the electric cell? Have you ever carefully looked at an electric cell? Let us understand the construction of an electric cell. Electric cell is cylindrical in shape having chemicals stored inside it. It has two terminals that are positive and negative. The positive terminal is metal cap and negative terminal is the metal disc. Chemical reaction occurs inside the cell to generate electricity. In electrical cell, electricity is produced by the positive and negative charges. There is something that you need to be careful about. That is never ever connect both terminal of cell with a wire. Do you know what will happen? It leads to the use of chemical inside the cell and that will result in the flow of current. This eventually reduces the life of the cell. You know who was the first person to develop an electric cell? Alessandro Volta was the person who developed electric cell in 1800th century. How does an electric torch work? Have you ever taken an electric torch to find out how does it work? Parts of torch are bulb, reflector, plastic coating, slide switch and electric cells. Why did the designer choose this particular combination of materials? The metal parts of the torch must conduct electric current if the torch is to function. There are two electric cells, batteries, a switch and a lamp, the torch bulb. This lamp is connected to the positive terminal of the cell while the spring of the torch is connected to the negative terminal of the second cell. The negative terminal of the first cell is connected to the positive terminal of the second cell. In the torch, closing the switch completes the circuit and allows current to flow and thus the bulb glows.